Hello people, it's Poet and we're back in Jurassic World now. The last time you guys actually didn't see what happened because my recording cut out and messed up and it was, it, well, you just couldn't see anything that happened. So, scrap that recording and unfortunately what you guys missed was a lot of the feeding. I had maybe five or six uh, creatures, both pterosaurs, amphibians, uh, yeah, I think both pterosaurs and amphibians that needed to we'll get to that in a second uh, that needed to be fed and so that was kind of excited I, I, I waited until I could do that on camera just for you guys um, and it turned out that the footage got wrecked anyway hashtag get wrecked uh, let's see claim this claim this we also had a few good trade deals we did one of the uh, quests we did a battle or two and so you guys missed out a little bit but don't worry we're back in Jurassic World and we will be doing more of that today so as you saw I do have that guy ready I also have this guy to hatch Argentinosaurus uh, this guy's not quite ready eight hours left on our um, what is that guy Prionosuchus what is he what, what is he called I forget always yeah Prionosuchus and it also looked like we've got another post- no? Who is that? Who is that? What is that? Uh, it's not a Lemniskelis, it's gonna be a Labyrinth of... Is it? <laughs> what is it gonna be? I'm gonna bite my tongue. What are you? What is it? I don't recognize... Ah! It's a Microposaurus. I knew I'd find it eventually. That's what that is. So let's collect him. I guess I could have just collected him, then I would have found out what he was. There he is, Microposaurus. Place. Uh, so you guys do get to see at least some feeding in this episode from this guy. Again, a lot of people always love seeing the feeding. I also actually have some Cenozoic uh, creatures to feed. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Let's evolve him first. Get him up to level 20, maybe 30? Do I have a level 20 already? Let's see what we've got. Collect him. I do have a level 20 already, so we're gonna get a level 30 Microposaurus evolved here. Looks so like he's got some blue on him now. Ooh boy, this one's wasting all of our bucks. There we go. Collect. So, let's place him down, feed him up, and see what he looks like now. Well, why so blue? He looks very different, actually. A little bit of different color of a green underneath, I think. He was dark green on top at level 20, but now level 21 to 30, he is blue. Very, very blue. Don't you hiss at me, dude. Look at the food cost here. Yeesh. And he stays blue, it looks like, for level 40. But there we go. He might be one of our stronger... Well, he's up there for sure, in health for sure. One of our stronger amphibious creatures, which we might need today because I think we've got a battle event with carnivores going. I'll, I'll check in a second. Uh, let's collect our mystery pack. We get a Limnoskelly's. Interesting to see such a low, common. <laughs> Get it now, for free. But then also it'll cost you uh, ten dollars plus tax. Although, can you get away with getting it now for free and then canceling it right away? After you use some of your VIP benefits? I wonder. I'll look into that. It says it's a one-time offer, but uh, I'm not going to do it now anyway, so... Yes, let's decline. It it says it's a one-time offer, but trust me. If I really wanted to pay in like that, it might let me again. I'd have to meet, make very, very, very sure it was free, and these companies have a tendency to make sure you pay, so... Always be cautious online, kids watching. 
Always, always, always. Um, I'm actually going to do that trade. Because if these are even, I want the, the values to be even. That is a good deal because coins, I have billions of them. Don't need, or millions anyway. Uh, I don't need that many. Uh, that's probably a good deal for a Sarko, but I'm not going to do it. That's a good deal through and through. That's a good deal. Never ever use those kinds of endurance cards. And no. And yes. So there we go. Some pretty good trades. Claim. 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 Okay. So, market. What is what's in the mark the market? What is this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. Okay. Do that. Uh, let's go to the Cenozoic. Let's get these guys leveled up. So I did get an Andrew Sarkis. Um However, I already have a maxed level Andrew Sarkis, so this guy's kind of not going to be useful at all. Um, he's fairly weak, even at level 40. So a level 10 Andrew Sarkis is kind of just a coin gatherer. Gather he gathers 1,764 coins every 12 hours, every day. So that'll be what his job is. We've also got another Sarcastodon. However, this time we can level him up and evolve him, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's watch him grab a fish or something. There he goes. And then let's evolve him. Okay. Round one and round two. So level 20, I wonder, he does seem to have some striping on his back it looks like. Let's see, maybe spotting? <laughs> that stance, though. See what you look like. Okay, he has a couple stripes down his back, but not all the way down his back. Kind of fades to white. Interesting look with the white there. Blends in with the snow maybe a little bit easier. With the autumn colors a little bit easier. Something like that. Definitely not complaining about how he looks. He actually looks pretty cool with those stripes. Kind of anxious to see what he might look like. At a higher level, even. Um, I believe I have unlocked him. Oh, no, I haven't. But I did unlock a few. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Aramatherium. Uh, the Megaloceros. Elasmatherium. All unlocked. So. It's all good. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, yeah. Let's just do this event. Claire, have you seen Barry? I'm planning a, an all-weather hike through wild, wilder areas of the park. An extreme version of our tour, if you will. Um, he's gotten them involved in another Project Ares mission and appears to think I don't have the need to know. I disagree. Let's find Hoskins and tell him together, shall we? Claire and Masrani search the park for Hoskins. Move five buildings. Well, one was already moved. Buy and place a tropical boulevard. Woo! Expensive, that thing. At least I get half my money back. And I have to move five buildings. Okay. This qualifies as a building, I think. And unlike Jurassic Park Builder, which I haven't played in ages, uh, you can't just move it into the same spot. You have to move it physically somewhere else. Come on. Do I have to move five individual buildings? Number should be up to three now, right? Three, okay. It has to be different buildings. Crazy. Oops. There we go. Game actually crashed. It's been doing that a lot lately, and I'm not 100% sure on why. Uh, it has no warning whatsoever. Just suddenly crashes I think everyone should be on the same page here no more needless secrets I'll follow your lead sir okay but yeah the game seems to be crashing quite a bit um, since the last update and I don't really know why 
but it might be something on my end. I'm not gonna just dismiss it and say, yes, it's, it's the game. It might be something on my end, but I certainly haven't changed anything. I haven't changed the thing and this game crashes. Um, one time it crashed when I was just in the middle of uh, feeding a Pteranodon, and this time it just crashed while I was in the process of moving a building, so... It doesn't seem to be anything disti distinguishing why it crashes, but it does crash, so... Apologize. Let's get on with it. Claire, I want to talk to you about Barry and Owen misappropriating valuable data from Project Ares. Misappropriation is a serious charge, Henry. I don't believe either Owen or Barry is cleared for Project Ares. What exactly do you mean? Downloading temperature, topography, population maps from a Project Ares servers, the only servers that seem to be working after the geomagnetic event. We'll need Lowry involved in this discussion before we proceed. You can begin now, Henry. We'll bring Lowry up to speed when he arrives. So. Buy and place an Apatosaurus fossil for some unknown reason. It's a million bucks. But we can afford it, so let's do that. What next? Place a newly hatched dinosaur. Soon. Buy and place a Revolution Ferris wheel. Okay. And this guy wants level up a dinosaur of level 31 or higher. Okay. So we basically need to max one out, in other words. Alright, recoup some of our losses, and now into the battle section. Um, we did, unfortunately, in the last episode, both levels 49 and 50. That is how we got our Prionosuchus and our Microposu Microposaurus. So, unfortunately, you guys missed that. I apologize. Um, the battles were not all that interesting um, because we did have higher level dinosaurs than what was required but here we go we do see that there are two events more teeth event which is apparently carnivores and then boosted battle event which also looks like it might be carnivores so let's show down on this one first it is boosted it's carnivores against me and boy they're tough but can I if I go in like with this guy and with this guy can I go like that? Will it let me do something like, like that? Like that even. Especially if I do a booster, let's do a 50%. Let's do a plus one. Let's always, I always usually do the lowest because I have a thousand of them. Yes, it lets me. Okay, so we're gonna win this one hands down. I mean, why, why wouldn't we? Uh, this guy's a one hit kill. I don't even need to use that. This guy's going to be a two-hit kill. Let's see what he does. I'm going to give myself a reserved point. And I'm going to bank for two. Because I think he blocked for two. He did. So I did the right thing there. What's he going to do with his two now? mystery. He, he attacks me for one, but possibly blocking for one. Okay, I used that, which is going to come in handy either way. We're going to attack him. We need to hit him for two, so I'm going to attack him for three in case he blocked one. I'm going to reserve three. Okay, there we go. Next and last, Gorgosaur. He looks cool. I love how this guy looks. Very wicked. And my single Prestosuchus successfully, on that note, takes out all of the competition. All right. One down. Basically five to go. Uh, let's see how this showdown is. Now this one I can only use, t I can use two carnivores. It's these guys, yeesh. Yeesh is all that I say. I'm gonna do the same thing, this guy, and then let's stack him with, uh... Yeah, let's actually do that. Let's put those two in. Boost, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that, that, and that. And start, oops. 
I needed two carnivores. So in that case, a weaker T-Rex. Start. If I can get the 50% right away, no, I can't use that. Can't use that either because it would be a waste. Uh, I'm gonna hit him. First things first. He's almost dead. He might swap out even. Or maybe he'll hit me for two. He hit me for one. Interesting strategy. That boosts my health by 50%. Which is a significant amount. And let's see. He hit me. Let's hit him for two. Ah, I messed up. He reserved a point. Okay, well that's fine. He could have been blocking. He could have been blocking. Had I been able to read my crystal ball, I would have reserved one too. So let's do this. Give myself a point for the future. I don't know what he's doing. I'm gonna hit him for the full three. He did block for two. But he's down to 220 health. He's got four points. He uses four points. So he's clean slate. And he kills me, even with my 50% boost. Yikes. But, critical mistake. I've got myself my plus one reserve. And I know that I can kill him in one point. So, I can reserve a full four. I will have eight points next round. And I should be definitely able to win with eight points. What's he gonna do? Mistake. He kills me, but my Dimetrodon is actually stronger than that T-Rex, technically. So let's go like this. I don't he's not he doesn't have anything. To do. He wasn't blocking anything. He used all of his points. Um, but I might as well use the card. <laughs> use it for show, I guess. Let's do this. 8,200 damage. And we won. Round two. That was an exciting battle. I like that one. Uh, next one, we have to have, what, three Carnos? <laughs> Carnos. Carnivores. Carnies, as they call them in this game. Let's use all of my top three just because. Boosters. We're going to do a little bit stronger this time because we. we will need the support. Um, likewise, I'm going to throw in that. Likewise, I'm going to do that. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Confirm. So, with this booster, we should be able to triumph. So, let's, <laughs> let's do that right away. Give myself four points. Why not? As good a time as any. Um, I'm actually going to block for one. Why does he have zero points already? What? Am I player two? What is, what is happening? Let's block for one. Player two bonus. Okay. Never notice they start with zero. He hits me for one, so that was a good use of a block. He's probably blocking for one now with that extra point. So let's take it out. Okay, in case he had a block, I don't know if he did, but now he's not, so let's, two, three, we're going to kill him, and I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, reserve. Okay, this guy comes in, look at him, Secodontosaurus, he's wicked, he hit me for two. I happen to block for two. I kind of strategized that a little bit. Full bank. And because of his hitting me for two, he wasted all of his points. So again, we are kind of like, okay. One, two, three. We can kill him. And let's go ahead and reserve a point instead of blocking. So now if I die, I will still have a creature advantage three to one. So... What's this guy, Spinal Raptor, gonna do? Two. He still has one point, I believe. So he probably blocked with it. I'm gonna use that anyway. 
Next turn, he won't get as many points. Let's go ahead and... Hit him for all we got. Okay, good. We didn't need that other point removed because we won, and that is the third battle. We get the card pack. Congrats, everybody. Clap, clap. Pat yourself on the back. What is it going to be? A Dimorphodon. Okay. All right. That's all right. I think we already have one, so that'll only benefit us. Whoa. Look at everything screwing up now. That also happens. The graphics screw up sometimes after a battle. Uh, and the only way to fix it is to... Uh, oh, look at that. I have, I have a level 20 already. So it's not going to help us. The only way to fix this graphical glitch is to restart the game. Glitches, glitches, glitches. I can still move, move around and do what I need to do. We're going to go ahead and hatch that guy. He's going to take two days. This guy's complete. The Argentinosaur is complete. Place. Look at this guy's picture isn't appearing at all. Yay, level 51. And we get to go to battle stage 51. We get ourselves an amber pedestal. Whoop de doo. Ah, uh, nope, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, rate it now. Do you want me? Really? At this point in time? Do you want me to when the graphics are screwing up? Well, I'll rate you all right. Anyway, that is where we're going to end it. I do have the guy left in there, but I'll just leave him in there for now. Uh, we'll see you guys next time on Jurassic World. Bye-bye. <laughs> Here, let's leave. Let's leave looking at this guy if we can. Yeah, because we just got him this round. Or no, you know what? My favorite one, Sarcastodon. Let's go look at him. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. So see you next time. Bye-bye.